never technically actually look at your own butthole. Like you just look at a reflection of your butthole. Everything I've ever eaten is since first grade is alive in my body. You're fucking Fred from Scooby Doo. Yeah, he has got a, a neck. secret neck hole. Yeah. Uh, but like he still looks good. Fuggin'. With two G's. F U G G I N. Fuggin'. <clears throat> Very. Mm, uh, quiet. Yes, welcome. Welcome to the uh, weekly session of which we sit and we talk about uh, rich old white man things. This is a takeover from the Dapper Dads. It appears the dads themselves were not doing too well on the program and we bought them out. So I'm going to sit here and talk to you about several different ways the U.S. Treasury Mint is really robbing you of your precious metals through pennies. <laughs> Episode 82. Apparently it's going to be different. It's going to be real it's gonna different. Be a it's different. going to be a little strange 82 80 fucking 2 and H think will we'll, never I was going to say you think we'll still be alive at 82? You think the world will be here when we're 82? Nah, the world's going to be dead in like 15 years. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I we're know. We're done. Just it's do whatever crazy. you want. There's no consequences, people. Just go out, do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, Your mean, actions have no consequences as long as you time them correctly. You have to time it, it correctly that's with the end of the world. True. Yeah. When do you think can we I mean, we're, I feel like we're working on a cult. Can we throw out a day that we think the world uh, April will end? April 23rd, 2038. Okay, I'm excited. That's I hate waiting, though, too, so it's going to be. So remember, April 23rd. 2020, maybe. No, we can't do that. 2018. We, we should have. Yeah, we. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's, I think that's when everything changed and got worse, right? Yeah, no, everything got worse after same. 2012. That's a fact. Well, yeah, because the world was supposed to end. Yeah. And we were all banking on it. There's a conspiracy theory that the world actually did end, and we're mm-hmm. in like some weird purgatory hell version of what the world is supposed to be. I mean, if this is purgatory hell, it's not th- as bad as Could I would worse. have imagined. There's still blowjobs here. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this I ain't the worst place to blow be. Jobs, right? Hell definitely doesn't right? have. Not good or they, ones. Yeah, they have really bad ones. Like right? real weak ones. Oh. Where they're just like mouth. I was in thinking it, where they're like, not like like where the teeth are very sharp. A lot of sharp teeth, but they're also like at certain po- the teeth stop and you're like, oh thank God, no more teeth. But then it's just that real light mouthing where it's just yeah. like it's just kissing the tip and not, looking not, at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah just like, like kissing the underside of it, and you're like, just use the. Just, and you're trying to gently press just, on the back of the head. Yeah, but and you're trying, but then, like, but and yeah, make, but and like you don't want to be too pushy no, with no, it or no, anything. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't even use my hands during top because of how. Yeah. Just, just, just I the, like to be the, tied up. The current climate that we live in, you yeah. can't. Yeah, you can't I like use your hands during sex. You can't use your hands during sex at all. Even getting prepared for sex. Fingering is out the window. And I'm not talking about back in the good old days where she would put her lower half out of the back of the car window and you'd stand in the walmart parking and just just, and just ram the you know, shit out of it back when days were good and everything could fly if those pictures and surveillance videos come up i can't defend myself I, there's I nothing we can do things. to defend ourselves it was all consensual she was, yeah she was very they, they were all about consensual when she puts her lower half, she puts her, her lower, lower half, half out the window out it's an window. invitation that's yeah. just a fact and i'm not talking sunroof no we're I'm talking, talking like a passenger back, window with, back, with child the protection back. so Ooh. they don't even go down all the it's way only like but half she goes down just all the way. if you know what i'm fucking saying if you go down all the way go to www.thedapperdads.com and let us know how how low you actually yeah. go. Uh, yep. Anonymously submit if you've ever sucked a dick. Because we don't know who did. Yeah, we don't know who did. We Anonymous me. Anonymously Anonymous submit. Me. Anonymous me. Anonymous me. Anonymous me. Anonymous me. Anonymously submit if you have ever been finger banged by hanging your lower half out the back yeah. uh, out of a hatchback window. You That's know what? what I want to say. I'm even going to say if you hung your bottom half out of anything and were fingered consensually. Or, bl- or jerked off. Or, or blown. jerked off. Yeah. If you had your diddle bits fun had timed yeah. out of a window <laughs> when you okay. stuck it out, mm-hmm. let us know. We're not talking top half because that's that's kid What's shit. the point of top half? Yeah. That's just like. This, th- this is the shit grownups do. Yeah. That's just like when you're like kind of like dipping into like voyeurism where you're like hang yeah. out the window and I'll fuck you. And she still has her the, top the, on. She's waving fine... at the neighbors. He's cutting the lawn. Is cucking a form of voyeurism? Um. I guess. Or is cucking so, its own technically? thing? Technically, I mean, it's its own thing for sure. But it's like, it's rooted specific. in voyeurism. Am yeah. I wrong? No, I think you're right. Uh, because voyeurism is just, yeah, it's just watching. Yeah. So, so you're, you're watching, watching someone you're, fuck yeah. your wife. Yeah. So it's, it's definitely its uh, own thing and it's more specific. What would you do if, like, we were out at a bar? I mean, like, doing my wife. Well, I mean, I'm, at the bar? I mean, this is oh, not how I wanted goodness. to bring it up, but uh, we can what have. Bar? We, uh, it, it rhymes with bitchards. <laughs> 
It does. It does. Oh, <laughs> bitch hurts my favorite bar. <laughs> it's Richards, but all bitches. No, it's it's Richard, <laughs> but all the bloods hang out there. Just oh. our real blood bitches hang out there. Blood. Let's go to that bar. So where are women on their period? <laughs> <laughs> well, they are bloods. You know, Bitchards, where it's always the time of the month. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a quality establishment I mean, where I would, I would love spend to spend a week out of every month. <laughs> Just one week out of every month. Just one week. Three weeks. Going average, to... upright citizen. Everybody loves me. One week. I I'm go just to in bitchers. a. I'm at bitchers where <laughs> I I don't want to describe it. You kind of have to see it in person. You just have to be there and see what. Can it's I like. still smoke cigarettes, or are all the women going to yell at me? They put it out in blood. Okay, that's the ashtrays are full that's of blood. That's too much. What? You, that's too much. Blood is too much at Bitchers. <laughs> I mean, yeah. What if we I'm, know it's what if happening? I'm just I don't want to see it. What if I, I was just bicking back being bull at Bitchers? Oh, boy. Go Vince to... Staples is going to hate us now. <laughs> he probably already would. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. We'll ask him. With his mustache, him. he's just like. Yeah, with his mustache. Does he kind of look like him and Ham have the same mustache, and it trips me out sometimes. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> We gotta get them side I by think, side. I think dudes with strong opinions have that mustache. I think that's I what think it that's is. true. That's why I can't grow a mustache. I have no strong opinions. Are you still anything. trying to grow out the mustache? No, clearly not. I, I shaved it. I, I couldn't tell. It's because there's bad lighting here. I had a, I can get a real gross little mustache. I might bring it back. You should bring it back for the summer. I want to see the gross oh, mustache yeah. with like some nice pink Hawaiian shirts. Yeah, I've got a special uh, garment, we'll say, for the summer mm-hmm. that was gifted to me on Christmas that I'm very excited to break out. It's going to be epic. I was going to break it out earlier this year, but I figured it's worth the wait. Yeah. It's, yeah, Every, it's most incredible. Most good things are worth waiting for. Eh, debatable. Eh, uh, it, it is debatable. I will give you that. But I said most good things are worth waiting for. Uh, email dapperdadspodcast at gmail.com. Tell us what you're waiting for, but don't say it's death. That's yeah, too much for us to deal with. We're all waiting for death. Technically, yes, we are all waiting for death. Get original. Yeah, fucking grow up and stop waiting for death. <laughs> grow up. I did. <laughs> yeah, I did not. Uh, 4027 Dapper. That's 4027327737. Call it or text it with whatever you want. We have a voicemail. That's incredible, we, and I'm excited. We uh, we do receive pictures on the yes. text line. Uh, we've had a lot of people ask about that. Uh, also go no to unsolicited scrotum. Stop sending on. Stop sending scrotum. those. We have a baker's dozen worth of yeah. external hard drives yeah. filled with testicle pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Old testicle pictures. The uh, the carrier for that phone number has contacted us personally and said uh, we don't have the data threshold to handle all these tests. And pictures. I yelled at them very loudly, asking for the manager, explaining that I had an unlimited data plan. Did I ever? I worked at a at a call center for mm-hmm. a, a popular phone company that i might have said before but uh due to several uh binding lawsuits i won't say anymore b bubble um yeah it was b bubble uh never really took off Hmm. um but there was it was all the bees they let loose at their press events there was like uh i'm trying to remember why it happened but there was there's like a website you can go to like a login like a customer portal and you could upload your photos there and there was one type of phone that like the photos automatically uploaded there and it was like a whole nightmare thing this was way back in the day okay and um we'd get phone calls for people to for us to help them like remove the pictures or find the pictures and i'm gonna say six six times out of ten it was someone making you look at something you didn't want to look at yeah you know what i mean give me some prime examples specifically the one that sticks with me was and because it got to the point where a policy came down that was like we're no longer logging in but what we would all do is log in immediately as soon as someone had that phone and just look at them i'm I'm gonna be honest like just to see what they had because it was always crazy like people put crazy pictures but specifically one time this guy would not let up and it was after the policy was enacted and uh he was like, I just need you to help me get to get this picture. I got to I gotta see if this picture's on here. So finally, I logged in to look, and the only picture on there was his giant black cock in all its glory. And uh, I didn't tell him that I seen it. I was just like, no, we can't log in. He was like, I feel like you've already looked at it. And it got, <laughs> like, it's what they want. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because we, we also, I don't know if we've ever told the stories, but we kind of worked in a photo department. Did we ever dive into the, I think we did talk I, about some I, of those. I, I remember, I, I may have brought this up. My very first set of photos I developed in that photo center had a very 
nasty looking old lady leaning up against the wall mm-hmm. and she had clearly had like 13 kids because it was sagging mm-hmm. and the boobs were sagging yeah. and it was just not not an ideal like pose yeah. i feel like they but always... it was it was taken with like a like one of those handheld cameras yeah. though i feel like because i remember remember we had to go through the photos oh, when yeah. they came back in to make yeah. sure they were good i remember one time that guy that you hate uh, you'll was, have to be so much more specific work with the phones <laughs> Still have to be more specific. You but know I'm which fine. one I'm talking about. I don't know. I can't really say too much more without like giving away his whole identity. <laughs> okay. Want me to physically just describe the man? Yeah. Just yeah. Give me a description. Bald glasses. Okay. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, he was. I back hated to... other people more. <laughs> yeah, but you did hate. You hated everyone for what it's worth. Yeah, I was. Gonna, that's why I said you have to be more specific. Uh, but he was back looking at photos, and he's like, "You got to come look at these." And I looked through them, and it was like these teenage girls like finger banging each other and like smoking out of a bong yeah. and like drinking and doing all but this like, other stuff who the fuck thinks you can develop those you know yeah, what that's mean? what's crazy is so many people thought that you could just like get any picture you wanted developed yeah. in a photo center and absolutely no one would mm-hmm. go through it i remember one time this guy sent through a batch of photos because i was a photo center specialist for a while there yeah and uh this one guy sent through a batch of photos where he uh was taking t- trying to take erotic photos of Mm. his missus in the tub oh yeah uh i remember the tub photo yeah and he and it was like a whole fucking roll of them and uh (laughs) i digital roll and no like they printed out oh yeah and uh, they're old well and then remember we basically we had to like wrap them in like a certain thing that said like you can't have these photos we're gonna destroy them but like you had to tell that to the person when they came to pick them up Mm -hmm. and so this guy comes in to get his photos and it's just like one big fat thing wrapped in like a red like <laughs> throw this yeah they filth, make you feel throw bad this about filth it. away yeah and, and then uh, they get mad at you because they think you're gonna keep them well yeah he got mad it. yeah that's you're what he said to me yeah, because he I was because he was like oh you're just gonna take them home and jerk off to them and it's like uh no yeah no i'm yeah, not I this will. has terrified me of sex i will for just at dis- least the next just six weeks you now sir <laughs> just at home angrily just <laughs> yeah. uh, just really <laughs> confused and, uh, honey what are you doing i took my work home again <laughs> Yeah, I had you, like you said you were gonna stop doing that. I had we at least agreed. at least three separate occasions at that job with the photos where I was tricked into looking at man's penises. Again. Yeah, why men's do why penises. do men why do men it's like want that's to trick like a people thing. into seeing their penises? I think that's it's kind of like another weird kinky thing. Like you want me to have to accidentally look, you but get like off men, on the thought like of men me also having to send look at like it. unsolicited dick pics and they just do yeah. lo- why, like why do men... we shouldn't have dicks and cameras one no. or the other one, the, we they, shouldn't be allowed to have both. one's got to go and we're born <laughs> yeah. with one and <laughs> yeah we're born with cameras yeah from we're now born on. with yeah. next generation imagine men if you have, have cameras oh i feel like that should be an option and you gotta like take a look i feel like there should be like some type of test where you determine what type of person they are and then you can determine whether or not they d- will deserve to have a penis or a camera yeah <laughs> from birth <laughs> yeah so you're bas- it's basically like an interview with your parents so our dads would have been allowed it would have oh, been no, interviewed we would, no they would have then... had cameras first of all so we would have never been born <laughs> well no but i think you you can't judge a baby and by then you have to you have to choose right away i'm thinking like a real it's interesting like a parent interview i'm thinking like a real interesting futuristic sci-fi scenario where like they can look at the baby in utero and they can see like the whole baby's life like you can see oh like, the well whole... then we could just but then a you, lot of babies. I mean, yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, uh, I feel like Honestly. this is gonna go down a weird dark. Road. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a perfect movie because you're gonna have it's gonna get to the point where they're like they do a couple bad things, but then they overcome them. Yeah. So how do you determine per- whether yeah. or not they're a good or a no bad one person? Should, no one man should have all that power. No I'll one man much. should. Oh, that could this be is, the theme yeah, for the th- that could, that'll be what plays in the trailer. Of course, I've seen it licensed several times. Is this gonna so. be like an action flick? I feel like it should be. Have some sci fi action. I was thinking rom com. I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking completely different. I was thinking very serious black and white, uh, very somber movie. Mm. Not a lot of dialogue. A lot yeah. of it is just interpreted through what it's the people artsy, are doing. Very artsy, so you, most people don't even understand. Real crazy, odd soundtrack that we orchestrate and score mm. to it. You know, it's like yeah. one of those things where we wrote the orchestra, but we had to bring in like custom instruments to get the sounds that we yeah, wanted, you exactly. know? Like take a, a lot hu- of kazoos. A lot of kazoos, uh, a human skull filled with jelly beans that we shake around a lot yeah, and go my favorite for rock. <laughs> yeah. and that's for the the romantic scene yeah that's for <laughs> so the, that's for the full frontal all scene penetration a la antichrist style scenes that we throw in there ah with, with the are we talking about crushing the dick or cutting the clit both at the same damn time at the same damn time 
crushing dicks and snipping clits at the same damn time. On the phone, cooking dough. Like, what is your day? Before, that's the order that it goes in? <laughs> He's been wearing clothes his whole life. He knows what he's doing. That's true. Go to www.patreon.com slash Dapper Dads and get uh get this but unfiltered. So, yeah. I mean, let your imagination run wild. Or don't for $5 a month. Figure out what it is. Figure out what it is and what we do. We've been told it's hilarious and definitely worth the money. Yeah, we've been told so. that we are a uh, modern-day Abbott and Costello. Mm, that sounds bad. With their dicks out. Okay, now it sounds tight. <laughs> yeah, it's Hell real yeah. tight. Uh, follow us on Twitter, at Dapper Dads, uh, where we tweet about our dicks. Constantly. Exclusively. Oh, um, that's all Twitter's for. Yeah, we have a private Twitter that's Hit just us. about our dicks. If you, follow at Dapper Dads Dicks. If, and, you, if, uh, you can, if you can find the Twitter, you can get exclusive pictures of our dicks. Yeah, and everybody wants to know. Who doesn't? And let me tell you, you couldn't pick them apart. <laughs> let me tell you, it's uh, it's that you, you'll be surprised. Yeah, you'll be very surprised. I like surprised instead of upset. Which yeah. is the, the common other well, word I mean, that we get. There's a lot of like teeth grinding from what I hear, but mm. that can be interpreted a lot. That's why I have this horrible toothache, because I'm constantly have to look at my penis every day. You know what I mean? Well, you have I to do live have to with see it, it every yeah, day. Yeah, you have to live with it. I imagine the I haven't gone a day in my life without looking at my dick, probably. Who hasn't? People who are People. so fat they can't see their dicks? I guess so. Ugh, what well, a, that's what I was thinking about with like with world. buttholes. It's crazy that you spend so much time with that. It's like a vital thing in your day, but you never get a good look at your own butthole. Yeah, you, you know what I mean? You can never technically actually look at your own butthole. Yeah. Like, you just look at a reflection of your butthole. I like, know. You can never look at your own face. And you they see say, a reflection of your yeah, face. they say that like from us looking in mirrors and pictures, if we were to see an exact like duplicate of us in person we wouldn't even recognize it which as is ourselves. crazy yeah which think is about. scary so imagine what it's like with your butthole you know what i mean you probably wouldn't recognize your butthole i definitely have you ever looked have you ever looked at your butthole i've gotten around it you know what i mean i don't want to look directly at it it's like the sun in yeah my opinion. i feel like you know that, what I, mean? I feel like that causes it's like some, a solar eclipse that's how, you get an, that, that's how you get an aneurysm that's how you get cancer is you look at your own butthole so everybody who has had cancer looked at their own asshole can we it's say just, that they didn't <laughs> I mean, you can't prove it, but do you want to go on record saying I'll go ahead that's and, the cause of cancer? No, is this your hot take? I'll right die now? on this hill. Okay. I'm glad we got back to more science that we can definitely back up yeah. if we have to. Yeah. Yeah, that makes, I mean. Yeah, if you stare at your own butthole, <laughs> you, get you get cancer. cancer. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty simple. It, just don't do it. Yeah. just. But what it is is I feel like you have to look at it at like a very precise straight line. Like it's, Yeah, you got to get it. What I'm thinking is you got to look under like your legs, you know what I mean? Like bend over. What is the most look under your legs with the mirror? What is the is and that a lot of light. Is that the most effective way to look at your asshole? I've never done it, but I would guess so. You know what I mean? What are you thinking? I was thinking like, just like turn laying... around in your big bathroom mirror and like just try to look at it. But with you're not getting like, it like when you get on. like when you get a haircut, yeah. you know, and they know like you show mean. you the back yeah. of your head and they and show you your asshole. <laughs> yeah, you're well, like how's the lineup? And it's just a picture of your asshole. And you're like, whoa! I go, I go to a different barber shop and they don't try to show me my asshole. I'm like, uh, yeah. y- did you guys forget like, about something? <laughs> you're like, yeah, the hair looks great. Can we get to the beefy part of this? <laughs> yeah, can we get and to I the part beefy? where? Because I've been eating a lot of meat, red meat. It's really clogging up me specifically. I yeah. eat a bunch of red meat before I go get a haircut. <laughs> yeah, just to prepare. Yeah, just to I don't want ready. it to look all sad. <laughs> I want it to be bright and puckering. <laughs> yeah. L- listen, I've got I've got it all puckered and ready to go. Are you gonna take this picture or what? Or do you have one on file? Listen, I feel like I'm three healthy shits away from a hemorrhoid. I need you to get a picture of this. <laughs> Your great clips Yelp review is three stars. The haircut was good. Zero pictures of my asshole won't be coming back no i feel like i have to go to great clips to get, get my asshole looked at but then i go to like a nice barber shop and i'm like um it was a good time the yeah. it was they gave me a very nice yeah, fade, they definitely look at, at your ass at great clips yeah they for sure look at your I ass know. that's how they determine who's gonna cut whose hair is they look at your butt when you turn around to go sit down in the seats mm-hmm. and you're always like i hope i get the hot girl and then you never do you never do. I found out you can go into Great Clips and request your hairstylist. That's how you got to do it. Mm. You, can... you also go to Great, great Quips, which is just where people say catchy little things <laughs> yeah. while you wait. Yeah. And is that not really the barbershop you go to? No, I go to the one that shows me my asshole. Yeah, that's that's Great Quips. <laughs> no, that's Great Shits. <laughs> great Shits is a fine establishment founded in, I'm going to go ahead and throw out a number here, 1916? Uh, I'll fact check it. Fact check it. Let me I think everything opened in 1980. 
1993. I think, uh, but Great Shits is a great grandfathered institution. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, my great 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 grandpa, he was one of the first to have his asshole looked at while getting a getting a hot shave. You know what I mean? They shaved the back of your neck. So I'm picturing this scene like how you know, my great 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 grandpa. grandpa getting his asshole checked out mm-hmm. by a man with like a top hat and a monocle, like nice Booker mustache, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, but it also has to be a very public thing since he was like the because you know how like back in the day everyone just showed up for every public event no yeah. matter what it was because there was no TV yeah there was no TV yeah. everyone just showed up to There's see no whatever porn. they uh the, w- in when Thomas Edison killed that elephant they told people that who came out to the circus they're like you can just come and watch us do it afterwards yeah. you're not doing anything else it's a Sunday everything's closed <laughs> yeah for and God then they killed that elephant. Uh, well, like I've I've said forever that I feel like back in the day they never seen buttholes. You know what I mean? Like I feel like our grandparents never got a good look at a butthole. They never saw you know like their I mean? significant others. But I feel like sex has always been like I don't feel like I sex feel like has back more... in the in the forties. I don't think you were seeing butthole. I mean, I don't think you know what I mean. I don't think. Pr- and if you did, I it think was probably because, a whole thing. I think it's because promiscuity was not as advertised or as people weren't as openly comfortable with prom- prom- promiscuity and sexuality back in the day and so they it's not advertised but there had to be people doing gr- the romans were having like crazy orgies all well, the time yeah. so it's there like- was a there was a dark period in between all the fucking weird shit the romans and everyone was I doing just, and i just i just don't do see now. like people being more cuz like people have always been fucking wild like people have Yeah but been i don't crazy. think they were getting a good look at an asshole but back why then. why not like they just weren't just because like, everyone was you think so they were, you stuffy. think they weren't like bending girls over back then and seeing no. buttholes Mm-mm. You think everything was just missionary back I, in the 40s? I honestly do think I'd, a lot of it was. Uh, yeah. I think, no, there and had it was to be just, wild, crazy sex where people were seeing I'm sure buttholes some in the 40s. people were, but I feel like it was very taboo. Well, I mean, you know I'm mean? not saying it's it isn't taboo. It's taboo to I see feel someone's like it was asshole so now. taboo that you didn't, no one even did it. You know what I mean? Follow us on Instagram at Dapper Dad's Podcast. There will be a picture of something <laughs> based, based off of this. You're going to get something. Um, but I also want to bring up, I'm guessing you didn't watch that fucking abducted in plain sight shit no. on Netflix because you don't watch anything. I watch um, a lot of things. It's weird, but uh, not true. Um, anyway, spoiler or whatever, everyone's seen the memes and it's the only part that matters. Very confusing story that should have never existed. But uh, it's like, that's what I'm thinking of with the old timey people. Uh, the girl gets abducted by, like, this guy that was, like, new to the church, and her parents were, like, super tight with his family, and he seemed like a good guy, and he was going to take her to ride a horse, but instead he took her to Mexico and married her and had sex with her, and she was 12, and it's very unpleasant. I don't yeah. like anything about this. I don't like anything about that, but before that, um, he was, like, trying to fuck the mom, and then the, the main point here is he, he takes the dad, and they're driving through a park. And he's talking about how his wife won't put out, blah, blah, blah. And this is like, you've probably seen the meme of the old man in the chair. He's like, so I gave him some relief? Yeah, because he he's, the guy is literally like, <laughs> driving through the park and he's like, I'm, I'm not, my, my wife's not putting out, I'm not having any sex, I, I gotta get, I gotta take care of this, I'm getting too worked up, I gotta do something about it. And the, the dad looks over and this guy has a boner. And he's like, you think you could help me out? And the dad's like, no. And he's like, come on, it's kid stuff. So the dad jerks him off in the car. And this is like back in like the 70s or something. So it's 70s were pretty wild. I feel like anything I feel like after the 60s is when it started getting wild. But you could be gay like that. I it mean, was like and they were like super in the church and he even says in the documentary it's like it's the biggest regret I've made in my life, which this girl they continued to like just be very bad parents and then, and that's his biggest regret is jerking a guy off yeah like the girl got abducted by the same guy twice and they like withdrew their their statement to get him arrested because the, he was gonna out that the dad was gay for jerking him off in the car oh. <laughs> like, it's just a it's a very uh interesting documentary but the the biggest takeaway is that like what is a scenario where you as like a straight man with a wife and kids will just jerk a dude off in the car. Like if I came, to if you, he said like, if I came to you and I was like, I'm just not getting any ass. I really gotta, I gotta do something about I'd this. Be and like, I had that a sucks. boner. Let's go get you an escort. Well, that's nice. I would just say jerk off. If someone tried to, if someone was driving me around, it's not the they same had, though, man. And when they you had jerk a, off for a while, and you're not getting any. Like it's he nice. He jerked to, him off. But so it's nice to like fuck though. Like you don't always yeah, just want to jerk off. Yeah, but the dad off. just jerked him off, so it's the same thing. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's still it's not like weird. That dad fucked him. Yeah, I know, but it's still weird that he did that. Like, that's what I'm just saying. A weird thing but that's to what do. I mean. If you're that worked up, just jerk off. I guarantee you, after you jerk off, you're gonna be like, all right, I'm not. Yeah, ass, you get that post. You get that post not yeah. clarity. And Obviously, you're okay for yeah. A bit. Eventually, have sex. But like, there's not. A, if if I was in a car with someone and they drove me to a park, so and they you were and talking me were about, at the park. Yeah, and you're like, oh, I'm not getting in the ass, and I look over and you have a boner, and you ask me to jerk you off, I'm gonna strike you physically. Yeah, I feel like that's an appropriate jerk you off. No, I mean. Like punch you in, in the, the face. face in the I'm mouth. gonna steal yeah. your car. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you at the park with a boner and a bloody mouth. Yeah, and then what that's you get for asking problem. me to jerk you off? Yeah, it's just a. That's like the only. Yeah, the whole story is fucking crazy. <sighs> and like, just they. The guy says his therapy because he's like, I'm sick. I'm sick. I like little girls. His therapy is then to lay with the girl that he abducted in her bed several times a week, and the parents are like, okay, if it's your therapy. It's fucking like it's the it's one of the things I've watched. You know, I get mad and yell a lot. Yeah. I was literally waving my hands on my couch and I was like, "You've got to be fucking kidding me! What is wrong? This is all your fault!" And like, it's just insane. But the main takeaway is that that dad just jerked a guy off <laughs> back in the day. What is up with these documentaries with weird, specific gay scenes? It's what the people want. It is. I guess it, it is. is what the people it's, want. It's been my favorite thing. I want to now. I want to see. I would say I want to see an interview with both of these guys now. Yeah, I've seen a lot of memes. I want them like to interview each other. Yeah. yeah. Well, the the guy from the fire thing's like with it. Like he he has no shame. The dad has a lot of shame. As he should. He jerked a man off and did a bunch of other weird things. They're just very bad parents. They're just, just bad people. They're just stupid. They're mainly just stupid. Isn't that the worst when people just do bad things out of stupidity? Like yeah. not even for the intent of doing something bad. It's just because they're stupid. Yeah, and then the mom fucks the guy after all of this. After the girl gets abducted and so comes back. So he had sexual contact with both a husband and wife? Yeah, he was like a master manipulator. Because he did, he did that so that they wouldn't, like, come after him. Because he had, like, dirt on both of them. And he came up with this crazy, like, alien scenario to trick the girl into thinking that she had to, like, have sex with him. Because the aliens, like, he was, like, crazy. And he did all this shit. But yeah, I was like, some people are evil. Ugh, all these things just make me like, want to like. You get jerked uh, off by a dad. That's how far you go with your plan. Like none of my crazy schemes involve me being jerked off by, by a man. By a man, especially a dad. Yeah, I, yeah, we hold dads sacred. We hold dads very sacred in our circle. I the get only it. dad that can jerk me off is yours. The only, and that's a very specific uh, relationship that we have. Yeah, well, I mean, it's your. And fault. there will be a documentary. <laughs> yeah. There will and be, it will be, and they will interview very me, popular. and I will be very angry the whole yeah. time. I think you're going to be more sad than angry. It'll start off angry, but with the emotional arc will be you're very sad and torn up about it. Yeah, your dad's also torn up about it, which is. Mm. <laughs> 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 I love you, Bill. <laughs> I hate to do it. It's like low-hanging fruit, but it really gets you for some reason. It's just You're so just so sensitive. It's and weird, and I just don't like it. I don't like a lot of things, but you know what? Because I just picture it, and it's just so awful. <laughs> Can you describe it? Yeah, you're hanging out. Your lower half is hanging out of the back of a car window, and he's just jerking you off. That sounds nice. And he's, and he's like, don't abduct my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't gonna gonna <laughs> wasn't wasn't um we got some submissions well i want to bring up this other crazy thing i found on the uh on the internet it's been going around so uh i don't know if you've heard about this but in philadelphia a bunch of people got a letter in their mailbox have you heard anything about this not at all perfect so uh i'm gonna read the letter that was given to them in their mm, mailbox take me away uh the title is abba like the band, A-B-B-A. Okay. It's just the first thing. And then uh, this is written very weird and kind of poorly, so bear with me. Okay. It says, this is to inform you that all the food ate since first grade is alive in your body, especially the dead animal remains or meat since it was cooked alive and is alive in your body. Anywhere it goes now, you must go with it. That's 365 days a year from first grade to now. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Also, newborn baby received your first grade body or a meal just like the 365 days a year. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. The only way I see for you to save yourself from the every which away of being burned alive that's scheduled 
is to become a solid steel statue by place yourself under anesthesia and mixing your body with melted metal, <laughs> then resolidifying the metal or seal yourself in cement. When it becomes real to you, you can type it up and have a lot of copies made, then pass them out and post them up. What is needed is a steel furnace where metal can be melted and the bodies of people and animals mixed with the metal to become steel unable to be hurt. Of course, you'll be sedated first. There will be a meeting on April 27th, 2019, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, on the subject of a building of building a steel furnace at 27th and Gerard Avenue on the vacant lot. What we need is a bulldozer to dig some ditches and steel furnace equipment. Do attend. Wow, that what, was what not your, what I was expecting. What are your thoughts at, on that? Okay. Um So we start from the beginning. Everything you've yeah, eaten yeah. is alive in your body since first grade. I can't scientifically agree with that. Like I can't I think it's got some legs to stand on. I now I just why is it first grade? Okay, now the the legs that it stands on is factually when you do eat animals. It does sit in like the, like that's why like we a don't lo- need your vegan rhetoric. Well, what no. we're talking about here is a very obvious <laughs> lifestyle of everything you've ever well, no, eaten. It, no, this is living just... inside of you from first grade <laughs> until now. Three hundred sixty-five no. days a year: breakfast, lunch, dinner. No, this is just a realistic fact. Animal products stay in your body longer than fruits and vegetables and like yeah. grains do. They just they... so you're agreeing that it lives in you forever. I see. That's where any, I have to. That's where I have goes, to tell the Anywhere line. it goes now, you must go with it. But see, that's is... that's it, that's backwards. I feel like I feel like wherever yeah, you go, I... it goes with you because uh, no. it's alive inside of you. Apparently. Where is it going that you have to? go i don't know maybe everything we do is powered by all, all the stuff live. imagine how much food you've eaten since first grade and all of it is alive i shit too much to have things in me since yeah i, I know since but imagine grade. how long that is that's a lot of food breakfast lunch dinner it says that in snacks two times it doesn't include snacks so it's it only meals lunch dinner two different times in bold no brunch and i don't no understand <laughs> in between those two breakfast lunch and dinner points it says also newborn baby received your first grade body or a meal just like the 365 days a year. I don't get like that. I don't sentence under, doesn't even it make doesn't sense to me. Ma- like a baby. A lot of it doesn't make sense. Yeah, but, but all of the things the that care. don't make sense. Okay, so a, a newborn baby gets your first grade body. What? I, 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 I don't get like, are you how? That doesn't make sense. I, yeah, I don't. It, I, I don't know. But it, I don't. All of that falls to the side because what we need to do is meld become our... solid steel statues by placing ourselves under anesthesia so and mixing d- our body with melted metal. But we die, like in this process, right? We don't survive this process. No, because then it says after we be, we're mixed with the metal, we will be unable to be hurt. <laughs> are I... you, are you not following? <laughs> it's pretty clear. Yeah, but... <laughs> so. Everything you've eaten is alive inside you, and it is the driving force of what you do with your life. And if you want to recontrol your life, you need to become melded with metal or cement. Yeah. And then you won't get hurt. Right. Like, you will be, like, physically unstoppable at that point. You won't die. You I, become a, you become an ubermensch made out of metal and flesh. You know what? I'm going to be honest. A lot of the details are missing in this section. But well, you're I the think, one who seems to have such a clear grasp on the concept. I figured no, you'd be the to go to. I definitely understand having everything you've ever eaten be alive in your body. That just makes a lot of yeah, sense Yeah, where you to think me. your belly came uh, from. <laughs> yeah, my belly, these small little tits, my fat <laughs> ass. <laughs> Next time someone's like, every you're getting a burger little... you've ever eaten goes to that fat ass. <laughs> Next time someone's like, you're getting a little thick, which people tell me on a daily basis. I'm going to say, yeah, <laughs> everything I've ever eaten is since first grade is alive in my it's body. Hard. And and in April, I'm going to become a steel statue and everything will be OK. I feel like we need to fact. Ju- we need to go to this meeting. I feel like people it's become like a huge thing. A lot of people got this letter. There's like ring doorbell video of like the man who delivered it. But he just looks like a normal dude. So it's speculated. Well, yeah, looks like. Well, it just it's speculated that maybe the person who created this 
it isn't it, like distributed to homeless people to hand out for money or something like it just doesn't look like this is like a super villain thing i feel like it's very weird but people are like definitely going to attend it if i was in philadelphia i would someone said there's a bar across the street that they're gonna sit in and watch so they're a little away from it uh-huh. and like it's been it was immediately turned into the police and the police are like yeah we're gonna look into this and we're definitely gonna show up to the thing but uh yeah that's what i love about it is it it's written like nothing's crazy it's, about it, it it seems like it's written it's written very confidently but it seems like it's, it was written by someone where, where english isn't their first language it feels like you know like well I yeah feel it's like also they've... broken up oddly which makes it hard to read yeah it seems like it would stop yeah i feel know. like this is maybe something where somebody put their native language into like google translate and then like tried to translate yeah. it into english well there's odd like writing like when it says there will be a meeting b is just the letter b but then nothing else is written like that but there's a lot of like grammatical errors, not in like spelling necessarily, just in the way you would say these things. Yeah, I think it's someone who's crazy, right? Yeah, people it's are like it's either like crazy. a very weird prank or like something like that's trying to go it viral feels that will om- happen. It, like it feels ominous in a weird way. Like, it does something very specifically because it's, it's so specific about s- yeah. several weird details, and it in seems that very thing. well thought out. Yeah, like but this is somebody it's insane. So yeah. it's hard to say that something like that could be well thought out, but it is. It's and thought then at out the, by them. At the end, everything's like sent. Well, not even centered. Everything's weird, but then it just says "do attend" at the end in the bottom right and old and just saying do attend is like a weird it's ominous yeah it's, it's foreboding. very ominous i am like i love this shit like yeah no this is great yeah. it's very like intriguing to me like i said if this was chicago i oh I would be, yeah we would, I would be, be there. there i will die to see something like this because that's what people are that's like what, what if it's about. someone fucking does something crazy like, like blow, kills a bunch like of people blows or, it like, up yeah. shoots it up and we're gonna have to find out we've got two months that's what i hate like i said i hate waiting yeah, we got eight more episodes before we figure out what's going on with this shit but yeah we'll, so we'll, we will keep you up to date with the details we yeah. find out about this story because we are going to be on get you know what get all the major news outlets on the horn i figure yeah. we might as well just get on if top you of this. are in philadelphia or near oh and you're my willing, god if you will go and take video footage for if us, you will be our correspondent we will reward you handsomely very i'm thinking very intrigued i'm thinking at least one of each shirt for free (laughs) yeah if you can yeah if you can attend this and uh we are not liable for anything that happens happens to you you, uh, ever because yeah just yeah blanket statement uh anything that ever happens to you we are not liable for mentioned uh, but yeah, I'm very, I'm very interested. And yeah, it's like I said, it's written like all, what we need is a bull, a bulldozer to dig some ditches and some steel furnace equipment. Like it sounds like this person thinks people are going to come with that stuff and they're just going to get right, right to task. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're going to start melting. That's why he's giving everybody We're two start... months so they can get all the stuff together. Yeah. I hope some people bring some supplies. What if they bring really... the, out all the stuff the guy needs to do it? It's either just. What are we going to do when this guy brings out all the stuff, someone brings out all the stuff and he successfully melds his body with metal? Then I, that's my god. If that happens, you know okay. what I mean. Yeah, I, gonna, I will. I will throw it out there. If he does it, that's he my new god. That? Yeah, I'll, I'll subscribe to that religion. Will you? Kidding. Would you have it done to you to be part of the religion? I'd have to see more people. You, you, you know what I mean. You have to have the process done to you to be part of the religion. Well, I got to see it done to at least ten people successfully. Yeah, you know what I mean. That guy does it. I'm like, well, this guy's fucking crazy. I got to see at least. Yeah, what if being people. that crazy is the only way to successfully undergo? Yeah, such that's an what operation. I mean. I think ten's a solid number, and I want yeah a couple of them to be well respected pillars of the community. So like the mayor. Yeah, I want to see the mayor of Philadelphia get fucking turned into a metal. I want to see that Philadelphia, that weird Philly mascot they have now, the big yeah, hairy one. Yeah, I want to see green it. one. No, not not the green one. Who's the? Is that Boston that has the weird fuzzy mascot? Have you seen that guy? I don't know. I've seen a lot of fuzzy mascots. In my no, day. he's like crazy looking. He's got like the big eyes. He just looks like he's made out of orange hair. He's orange. Yeah. Mm, I, yeah, I feel like it sounds familiar. But do you think so? Do you do you want to say you think uh, that this c- is quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles? He has to have that done to him. <laughs> yeah. Do you think this is a crazy guy or a viral prank? <sighs> crazy guy. I hope it's a crazy. I guy. hope it's a. Crazy I hope it's guy. someone who fully believes. I us. hope it's a crazy guy, but I'm so afraid it's just a lame prank that somebody's doing. And yeah. It's not going to be anything cool. Yeah. Or because I want it to be cool. I want it to be yeah, crazy. I feel like it's definitely going to be underwhelming. But apparently, like hundreds of people got this. It was distributed well, and like just imagine opening your mail and you read this. I would be like, What's worse, getting that or getting shit in the mail? 
I think getting shit in the mail is worse. This is, in, like I said, I'd be pumped to get this in the mail. I'd be terrified if I got this in the mail. I'd be terrified if it was just me or like very like selected people, like yeah. a like a community. Like if your whole neighborhood fine. gets it, but like yeah. if just you and like one other person on your <laughs> yeah. street gets it. Yeah, and it's like my weird neighbor, <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, no. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm, uh, I'm very excited to see what happens with this. I, uh, we'll, we'll keep you posted. Well, we're we're, we're going to stay updated on this, so we're, you'll yeah. be sure you'll get your time. I'm never. I'm not going to stop thinking about it. Things like this consume my mind. Um, and then we got some submissions. The first one we got here comes from Jill. Uh, sent us a study that Illinois is named the cheapest U.S. state to buy beer in. So I saw that. Yes, that, there's a win for us uh i feel like wisconsin is cheaper though yeah i feel like well like i don't i don't know the article here um says it was a study to buy a 24 pack of beer Mm -hmm. and it says that the average cost for a 24 pack of bud light or miller light uh says it costs 15 20 for either on average Uh. and michigan used to be the cheapest from a previous report Alaska finished as the most expensive state to purchase a 24 pack of beer at $31.21 a case. Jesus goddamn Christ. <laughs> Could you imagine paying $31 for a case of Bud Light? After what we did last weekend, oh two weekends ago? No. Well, yeah, if I paid $31 for that, maybe I'd get more bang for my buck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, I mean, like, yeah, Illinois is like crazy because we have Chicago, and Chicago's not. Cheap. It's so expensive. Yeah. It's not as expensive as everyone acts, but yeah. But I, I mean, like, like you go to like Love's Park or something, you can get a case of beer for yeah, like 12, I think it's 13 bucks. More that we have, like, yeah, a lot of cheap places. But I feel like, like there's got to be other loser states with nothing in it. Like, yeah. Omaha doesn't have like cheap Omaha's beer. not a state. <laughs> Nebraska. There you Fuck go. Yeah. Atta boy. No, not Nebraska. We have, we have fans in Nebraska. What's a shitty state that should be cheap? Like, there's got to be something out there. Wyoming. Clearly, I don't know states. No, because isn't Wyoming have that weird, like, beer shit where their beer's not as strong? Do it's they? Like Utah. Utah, because of the Utah Mormons. for sure does, but I thought Wyoming had a weird thing, too. But, yeah, just some random run-of-the-mill. You mean, like, Tennessee doesn't have cheap beer? Yeah, you're telling me the South doesn't have <laughs> yeah, cheap beer? Yeah, the South You're telling me a gas station in Macom, Georgia doesn't have, like, cases for six bucks? <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Yeah, but, I mean, I guess it's, it's a win for us if you want to buy cheap, shitty beer. Come to Illinois where the Dapper Dads are. We are also cheap and shitty. It's true. I mean, it's a... It's, uh... It's not far fetched. Where was our other? We got a. I think it's on the website here. We got another submission that was confusing to me at first. I'm gonna read it to you and see if you know right off the bat. I'm gonna pull up the voicemail that we got while you're doing that. Um. So yeah, this this submission comes from somewhat of a government. The email is fuckshitpiss at ass dot com. Um. It says little quickie. Would you ever fuck someone with a stoma? We'll start with that. Would you a stoma? Yeah, do you know what that is? Because I wasn't familiar. No, I'm not familiar with what a stoma is. So I googled it, and let me let me bring it up again just to make sure here. Because I what I found and what I've come to the realization of is I think two different things. A stoma is the result of an operation that is meant to remove disease and relieve ailments. It's an artificial opening that allows feces or urine either from the intestine or from the urinary tract to pass. It's basically a hole in your gut that you shit and so pee out, like a colostomy I, bag. So would, would I you fuck, fuck someone in their colostomy bag hole? Well, the first question is, would you ever fuck someone with one? But I think I know who left this because I happen to be on Twitter and I seen someone make a tweet about a stoma as the neck hole. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking maybe they're thinking neck hole, which makes more sense. Because, yeah, I would totally fuck someone with a stoma in the stomach, probably, if I don't have to, like, look at it and deal with it. As long is as it going to leak? Yeah, is my hand, is, like, is a finger going to slip in it on accident? Well, yeah, you know? yours is, it is like, cause yeah, you have well, bad intentions. You know me. Um, so. Yeah. Hey, what's this new hole? That's what you usually say. <laughs> don't I always? But you're always talking about the vagina. And they're like, yeah. this isn't new. And every then, time but fu- then you go, every time I fuck every a new girl, find... what's this hole? <laughs> yeah. You play very coy when you have sex. Yeah. Ooh, what is this? I've never had sex. And then you just fuck this is my, the fir- shit. This is my first time. <laughs> yeah. Just smash. Yeah. You do a lot of very uh, robust sexual maneuvers. Um, 
just really grinding my abs, just crazy yeah. positions they've never heard yeah. of. That was your by first yourself, time. and oh. she's watching from the corner of the room. <laughs> just, yeah, I think it is his first time. He clearly doesn't know what he's supposed to be doing. Yeah, we've one all of we've all done that one. <laughs> I do strangers. I tap my nutsack when I did it. Now it hurts. <laughs> Good. The light tap of the nutsack. Oh. Oh. The worst things that can happen. Oh. Oh. I like to sit on my hand and uh, give myself a stranger. You but said a, that several but friend, times tonight, and I don't a, like but it. A friend of mine sat on his uh, hand so long to give himself a stranger. He had to have his arm amputated. You got Saturday night wrist? <laughs> yeah, but it's different. <laughs> yeah. it's Sunday night wrist. Yeah, that's when the weekend's that's, that's, over. That's Tuesday night wrist. <laughs> yeah, that uh, all all my days blend together. Wrist. Um, <laughs> that's so yeah, we'll say is. we'll say neck hole because it makes it more interesting. I think okay. that's what the person. Shout out to you if you left it and I'm on the right path. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll, do we'll not ever under do not ever un- underestimate drama's investigative skills. They yeah. are top notch. And honestly, a lot of it's by accident. Yeah, a I lot kind of, of it fall is... into all the answers. That's why no one can ever pull one over on me. Um, would I fuck someone in their neck hole? Well, no. We start with with a neck hole. Would you have sex with someone who has a neck hole? Um, I feel like the people who They're have old. neck holes are They're old. old. Yeah. yeah. So old. I feel like that kind of detracts okay, so from my... 24-year-old uh, attractive woman, neck hole. She yeah. normally covers it up with a scarf. Yeah. But she takes the scarf off when you have sex. Well, I mean, and I assume she's missionary. not... It has to be missionary. It has to be missionary? I can't spice ever, it up. I can't ever bend her over? I mean, maybe if you have, you know time with her over the course of several weeks so, and so, you begin so, to experiment with so, each other's so bodies. So the first time we fuck, it's yeah. got to be missionary. You're going to start on the side real nice, but facing. Mm. Everything's facing. Okay. And so you're going to roll but over I, on So I'm in bed with her and I still, she still hasn't taken the scarf off yet. Yeah, when you're starting things off. So know. I'm fully clothed in bed. Yeah, well, you're, yeah, you guys are. I don't like this. You guys start off clothed, clothed, you know. Like, are watching. we, like, back at her place, like, enjoying, like, some wine after a nice night out? And then you're not start... enjoying any wine because it squirts out of her neck. Holy <laughs> shit. Um... <laughs> but you guys are watching Abducted in Sight now on Netflix. And it gets you real in the mood for some reason. Real in the mood to jerk a we, man off we in a both get, car. We both really get in the mood for yeah, some reason. It which turns is out. so concerning. <laughs> which is it's concerning, but it's not because at least we both found, you know, a common ground where we can get off. You yeah. Know? So, so we're starting to get hot and heavy in the mm-hmm. living room. Mm-hmm. Clothes start coming off. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, no, you take it to the bedroom first. Clothes so on? Yeah, like maybe maybe you've taken your fucking sweater <laughs> off, and she's you're you're primarily. Clothed, Why am I you know dressed I mean? like this on a date? You were trying to look spiffy, okay, to I cover can, up how bad you are as a person. I can definitely agree <laughs> so with that. You uh, get up to the bedroom, you hop in the bed, you know, you've taken a few things off, but she's still. You're both primarily clothed. She still has. The, so she's like taking she's her like up. her she's like taking like her hoodie off and like her yeah, pants are coming off, but she's yeah, still well, got like her cami and the yeah, scarf you got, on. Uh, T-shirt yeah. and the scarf. Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't cami. Know. <laughs> I mean, we know what we want, but that just seems like a weird outfit to be wearing. Um. So yeah, but you guys are in the bed and you're kind of helping each other take things off, and it's getting to the point where you gotta lift your ass up, pull your boxers down. It's always weird. Um, and fumble for your sex. And then she, you know, she has a neck hole, but you maybe caught a glimpse of it, but haven't really seen it. And then she undoes her, whatever we're, mm-hmm. scarf, whatever she's rocking. Um, I'm trying to think, what's the boat one? An ascot. Ascot. Yeah, an that's ascot. what Fred from Scooby Doo. Yeah, you're fucking Fred from Scooby Doo. He has a, a neck. secret neck hole, <sighs> uh, but like he still looks good. Could it be Daphne with good. a neck hole? No, Daphne will watch, and you'll be able to focus on Daphne a lot, but you'll never be able to forget because there's going to be a weird sound. I just don't want to fuck Fred. Coming. What well, which male Scooby Doo character do you want to fuck? Shaggy, Fred, not Scooby. Don't say Scooby, please God. <laughs> I haven't censored you a lot, but don't let it be Scooby. Make it be Scrappy. Dude. Uh, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, <laughs> I just wanna fuck the shit out of Scrappy. Pick up his little body. And just... Oh my god! I'm holding him. My... No, I'm holding... no, no. <laughs> my finger no. slips into his neck hole. No, I use it no. as a grip. No, Fred like... still has the neck hole. <laughs> you still slip into it somehow. You get real loose with I'm... your hands. I switch back and forth between Scrappy and I'm like get that thing over. Here. <laughs> 
<laughs> this might be the worst thing we've ever done. <laughs> what? Slim Fox Crappy Do? That's yeah. the worst thing we've ever and done. And Brad Yeah. At the same damn time. That future song keeps getting weird. Yeah. What is what, he doing? Wait, wake up fucking Scrappy Do and f- f- Fred Snackle. Fred Stoma at the same time. Ah, <laughs> uh, Fred Stoma. <laughs> Went to school with him. <laughs> good old, good, good old guy. Fred Stoma. Good Fred Stoma. Good guy. Sad what happened to him. And Shaggy and Scoop walking. Zoinks. Yeah. Um, Rappy. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, back to the woman. <laughs> she unveils her Poor scarf. Scrappy. Yeah, stop motioning it because it just doesn't look good. <laughs> stop. It looks too precise. Watch the video. Don't, actually. There's going to be a big black. <laughs> just moving with my mo- no it's, we're just gonna cover one just completely censored <laughs> for the whole episode i think at this point um but no you're having sex with a woman and she unveils it are you down is there a scrappy do tattoo on her neck no uh. she has no tattoos hmm. <laughs> yeah i don't see why i'm not down with it like i don't okay. feel like that's a big like determining Thing, okay so you know? now you're having the sex and you realize the sex you're having the sex yes you're doing the do as we say because we're sponsored by mountain dew and you realize that that neck hole has quite a wheeze to it every time you thrust uh, there's like a, a light okay. wheeze, but you can you're not able to get you know what i mean you can't i feel like this is something that should have been talked about before the sex the Wheezy Neck Hole? D- the fact that she has a neck hole in general. <laughs> My favorite rapper, Wheezy Neck Hole. <laughs> Wheezy out of here. <laughs> Fun fact about Wheezy, he has a stoma. <laughs> I love getting you good. It's every time I'm drinking water. I was going to say Wheezy, wheezy Neck Hole. Wheezy out of here. And then wine squirts out of the <laughs> neck hole. <laughs> Lean squirts out of the neck. Yeah. Go wheezy out of here. You fill your cup like when you're at a water cooler. <laughs> yeah, but you don't look at it. You're just like because you're so leaned let out. Let me know when it's, it's the best. Let lean. me know when it's full. no. You do the blind people thing where you stick your finger in the top of the cup and wait for the liquid to get up there. <laughs> ah, clever. Um. So yeah, you're gonna fuck her then. Yeah. Okay. I don't see why not. I mean, she's a she's an attractive woman. I thought enough of her to take her home and bed her. I mean, a neck hole isn't gonna stop me. Yeah, you me. have you have me. Very, yeah, very me? high. You standards. think it's gonna stop me? All right. Uh, would you fuck her in the stoma? <sighs> see, no. I feel like that's a no. I'll take a blowjob, but I'm not gonna fuck her in the stoma. I feel like what that's, that? that's disrespectful. <laughs> what, if, what if the head of your dick just peeks out? <laughs> then I'm taking a Snapchat video and Hell sending yeah. it to my dad. <laughs> I thought you said just your dad. No, just our dad. <laughs> your dad has Snapchat. Yeah, he does. Uh, can you imagine him? Snapchat. Snapchat. Yeah, he's he, yeah he's. I pay top dollar. Jesus, he won't even give it to me for free. He's kind of greedy. Sexually, I don't know if that's gonna normal. fit up there, but we'll try. <laughs> oh you want me to? Um, run? Yeah, the thinking about the sex in the stoma does like we just talked about. It, how, it feels disrespectful. Yeah, but I mean, if she wants it, I'm not. I'm not. She's gonna... into getting fucked in the stoma. Yeah, she asked for it. I mean, you can't just try go for that. No, nope, but ever, that's what I'm saying. Ever tried to put it in a girl's butt and she's like, no. <laughs> Imagine trying to put it in her stoma. <laughs> that's like a what do they say in high fidelity when he when he tries to grab her boob and she doesn't let him and he goes to finger her and he's like, it's like asking for change for a dollar and getting rejected, so you ask for a hundred dollars instead. <laughs> That's what it's like when you try to just put your dick I, in the I stomach. feel like it just wouldn't work really well because, like, I feel like you'd just be hitting oh, yeah. the back. Of, like, you couldn't get a lot well, of I your just, dick in there. I saw that man. Uh, do I finish there? I don't think you should. Well, but I do I switch from the stoma back to her pussy? No, that's... Do I go stoma to mouth? What order do I do this in? <laughs> mouth, stoma, pussy? Just go down, or do I do yeah. pussy, stoma, mouth? No. No, no, no. Work the pussy. Okay. I work need you up to in the stoma, and then come in her mouth, and then it squirts out of the stoma. This is, I, I was going to say recently we weren't getting that gross. I thought maybe we turned a new page, but clearly we've went so far backwards. This is the <laughs> yeah. grossest thing we might have ever discussed, so this thank whole you episode. somewhat of a government. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't even know what I was going to say, but I know it was bad. So you what wouldn't order? do it? <laughs> no, we're, good. we're done with that. I know, because I figured out the perfect order. You're going, God, God's order. No, you you're going, if anything, Puss, you're going. Pussy stoma mouth. That's no, the you're order. going mouth, neck hole, vagina. No, heavens no. Start with the pussy. 
No. Work the stoma. <laughs> what, start with the pussy? <laughs> Just pussy. You <laughs> say it so aggressively. And in this context, it's not good. <laughs> well, I mean, what other con- what, what word should I be saying? Vagina. No, that's too medical. You're saying stoma? Fine. <laughs> Cunt. Stoma. Oh my mouth. God. <laughs> Stoma is still medical. <laughs> but You're still not going. Cunt, neck hole, mouth. Oh, no. This is where it all ends. I can see it now. This is the episode. This is the single topic. This is the submission. This that is broke the Titanic. Us. This, is, this the was podcast. our iceberg. Yeah, this is, yeah, the stoma was the iceberg. Cunt, and, stoma, okay, please. mouth. All right, I'm saying reverse of that, and we're moving forward. Fine. Guess and we'll now just I have hate to agree to disagree. And I hate that there's a third part to this because it doesn't <laughs> end it. Would you? Do you want to guess what the third one could Come be? Come in the stoma? No. Uh, no. Hmm. Would you spit in the stoma if they ask? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Are you spitting hard or are you letting it drip I'm in? I'm fucking like aiming for that I shit. I don't think that's good for that's their not, body. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good to put your dick in the stoma, but here we it are. Is. It's probably not good to put your dick in like a ass. <laughs> I think it's okay, but it's not good, right? I don't know. I don't know. Listen, I didn't sign up to make these judgment calls when I decided you, to sit in a dungeon. You with ended it with a, a it's not healthy to stick it in a ass like it was a question like is it, it healthy is. to stick it yeah, in I don't ass? Know. it seems like it's probably like a vagina is there to have sex with a mouth there's not going to be any damage an ass i mean everybody does it all the cool kids are doing it yeah it works out fine but i feel like it could do something you know what i mean so a neck hole yeah yeah i'll spit in her neck hole i like getting spit on so like I'd yeah, spit in a neck hole. yeah so you spin her neck hole, and then she gets on top, and then it leaks your cold spit back onto you. I've had things leak onto me that are mine before. It won't be the last time. Yeah, and it's always cold. It's always so very, cold. Very it gets so cold, cold so fast. I would um, not do a lot of these. Hmm. I would. <laughs> I might have sex with someone with a stoma, like we said at the top, where I wish maybe we would have just ended all this discussion. <laughs> I think everyone with a stoma is old. Yeah. Um, does it change if it's the the medical version I googled where it's a it's a stomach hole? Because as I was gonna say, I saw that man on Twitter fuck that belly button, and a lot of his dick went into it. Yeah. She was a big old lady, mm-hmm. but I think maybe more of your dick uh, would go in a neck hole than you thought. A uh, stoma isn't gonna stop me from fucking somebody, but I feel what like they're. Will? <laughs> I'm trying to find it. <laughs> You're gonna keep f- what? will stop me from fucking someone is like your age. No one's ever going to really know and okay. you're just going to have to keep guessing. Okay. What will stop sense. me from fucking someone? The world may never know. There's only one man who does know and his name is Henry Winkler. Yeah, he and knows. he has sworn an affidavit to never speak upon death. <laughs> he can say it on his deathbed, but that's the well, only time. Based off the pictures, that might be soon enough. Yeah. Well, he can only say it to me. <laughs> What if, why would he even sign that? You know what I mean? He was drunk. He says it back to you. He is always drunk. He was very drunk. Um, Said something about the Jews, which was weird. Yeah. Well, I could see Called that. it Jewish York City? Oh. Henry, no. <laughs> yeah. Fonzie? Yeah. To my face. Yeah. At and Bitchards. Hit you? Yeah. We were at Bitchards, all blooded out. Okay. This is going in the worst direction. So if it's in the stomach. Will you do these three things? I I will not fuck them in the stomach hole. Okay. I feel like But you it, will fuck them in the neck hole? If it comes up. <laughs> if it comes up, yeah. I'll okay. work the neck hole. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, that I've already fucked them in their vagina. Thank you. You're that welcome. Means a lot. <laughs> yeah, I figured I'd that give you that. one. <laughs> I figured I'd give you one. Uh I then so hard to get just and one. And then she comes, I work the neck hole for a little bit. And with then, your penis? With my penis. I thought you meant like rubbing it like a clit. No, I'm okay. talking like. And that's the sound of the neckle? Uh, that's the sound of the wheezy out of here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but then I feel like it's disrespectful to come in the neck hole. So just come in. I, I would prefer to come in her mouth. So like, a, but then it would that's, leak that's out. That's so of polite the... of you. <laughs> I am a gentleman if I am nothing else. <laughs> Um, but I, I feel like, okay, so I would, I would fuck a girl with a stomach stoma mm-hmm. if I was told about it beforehand, because I feel like having, you don't want to be surprised. Well, I, you don't want to be surprised. And you also, I feel like you could accidentally hurt someone with one of those if you're not yeah. careful, you know? 
And so it's like I would what want. What if it's hooked up to a colostomy bag, and while you're boning, the bag gets a little fuller for some reason? I mean, that they can't help it. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and shame somebody because they have a problem with their bowels. I mean, I don't want to be shit but on during sex, but like obviously they can't I've control. Heard different. That, that is that is 100 percent not true. That will stop me from fucking somebody. Okay, if, there if it you is. Shit it on me. It didn't take much to find it. <laughs> nah. Um. I don't want to be shit on <laughs> or puked on. You ever heard of a Roman shower? No, do you tell? That's where you uh, puke on someone while you are fucking them for your gratification. We've all been close to that. For your gratification? Well, the, yeah, without the gratification. Yeah, we've all been close to puking on someone. I'm close to puking on you right now. <laughs> yeah, based off of this conversation. Um, I feel like, okay, if I knew beforehand about the stomach stoma, so I knew I wouldn't accidentally, like, hurt it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would. I wouldn't spit in it because I feel like that's unsanitary. <laughs> that's very unsanitary. I feel like that's where what you put in your garbage mouth. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You don't want my mouth shouldn't be anything near anything that's nice or good. No, it shouldn't. No, I've seen what my mouth does. I know where my mouth has been. Yeah, I've also seen it, and uh, it's uh, horrifying. Yeah, if nothing else, it uh, it's it. They, some everyone keeps throwing the word "scarred" around a lot, which I don't really like. Yeah, I, it does remind me of the evil lion from Lion King. Yeah, a lot hmm. because it's very dark and mysterious, and it killed my dad. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot. Somewhat of a government. You got to shut down somehow. <laughs> I can almost guarantee it. Imagine if this is someone's first episode. Oh, if my God. If this is your God. first episode and you've managed to make it through that, please contact us some way and tell Let us, us your know. thoughts. Uh, I can't wait to see the spike in all our <laughs> listenership tip so far down so we actually uh upon some review we actually have two three voicemails two are from the same person yeah and then one is a different one so we actually have a couple different voicemails to play on what's the, show the third one uh i will just go ahead and play it all right hi i am from omaha and i found a sticker in wicker park chicago so give me a call it i'll get some good fucking shit yeah, that was from a little bit ago, and I was like, I'm not going to call someone. I'll call them. You should send a text. Well, when did that come through? That's been a minute now. I February 2nd. So, yeah, that was 20 days ago. Yeah. Um, they get a call from me now at 3 in the morning. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, hey, it's hey, me. It's Slim. Hey. How you doing? From the Dapper Dads. Yeah. I heard gotta... you were in Chicago. Hey, you're from Omaha. Do you have cheap yeah. beer out there? We have. Yeah, we get a lot of, because uh, that area code people identify with it and uh, find us. I got to bleep out that guy's phone number. Yeah, that's fucked up. So uh, here is a very fun voicemail that I was unaware of, but browsing it, I feel like this is from our our boy Barry. You know it is. is. Just play it. I mean, as soon as you play it. Oi, g'day, dads. It's Barry here. um, uh, My day's pretty chocker, so I won't yabber on for too long. Just thought I'd give you a ring and let you know what I'm doing. You know, it's fucking three o'clock on a Monday here. Uh, and I just thought I'd leave a few quick ones for you. First of all, I'd like to hear a few dad jokes, you know. You're the dapper dads after all. Second of all, I'd love to hear some names for sex that you have in America. Specifically American, but, you know, whatever you want to call it. You know, here we call it shag or a root, or if you're really Australian, the kangaroo. It's one of my favorites. And lastly, I'd like to hear about your least favorite comedian or your least, uh, your worst comedy experience. All right. Catch you later, dads. I gotta go. My phone plan's pretty limited. Anyway, see ya. Hello from Oz. Oi, nah, it's Barry again. I just forgot to mention that I'm loving the shirt, loving the podcast, keep it up, and the Patreon episodes are top notch. Thanks, guys. See you later. You guys are the best. Well, Barry. Ba- beer God Barry, our That's motherfucking guy. guy. All the way from Australia. Man, we are going to meet you one day, Barry. <laughs> yeah. On God, we will I come to Australia one you, day. Barry. We love you so much. It's I don't think you understand insane. how much we love and you. And what's crazy is like we a while ago we found out we had an Australia listener. We've talked to him quite a bit. Yeah, solid, a lot of course. Solid guy. Super Got solid. Got a t shirt. So there's a t shirt in Australia. With- but Oh, and he has a fucking fantastic mullet. A mullet that like, God himself oh crafted. God. It's like God took each individual hair and placed it into this mullet. It is fantastic. It's, it's glorious. You people should feel lessened in life that you yeah. have not seen this glorious yeah. mullet and we have. I, uh, I almost want to. We, we, we almost got to throw this mullet up on the Instagram, I feel like. I know. We got to. Yeah, we got to make sure that's okay with him. He also sends us videos of him doing shoeies. Yeah, shoeies are fucking great. Shoe? Yeah, Barry, fucking... with your permission, send us the most exclusive 
exquisite photo of that fucking mane you got on your head. Yeah. We want to post it on yeah. our Instagram. But yeah, Barry's the best. What's funniest about this is like we knew he was from Australia. We've uh, talked a lot about differences with America and Australia. It's very fascinating. Mm-hmm. And we've, we've got fans from other countries. Gravy is yeah. a very good fan of ours. Haven't heard from you in a while, Gravy. Yeah. A lot of people stop uh, reaching out after a bit. They come in hard, big fan, and mm-hmm. then dissipate. Gravy, reach out um, to us. We miss you, hon. We hope you're good. Yeah, and we yeah we have, it, we have statistics that show there's listeners in other countries and whatnot. But Barry's, Barry's a big fan. Also, shout out to Patreon. So, I mean... Uh, yeah fucking get in there but what's great to me is like i know he's from australia i see him doing australian things i court we correspond about australia differences hearing the goddamn voice blew my mind yeah no you know what i mean like you know he's australian and then it comes in right away good day dad oh shit like this is fucking amazing so yeah barry's Barry's the, the best. You guys got to step your game up. Yeah, yeah. If you think you're a big fan, move to a different country, adopt an accent and a lifestyle, a culture shift, and then start corresponding with us again. Yeah, then we'll call you a big fan. But right now, Barry's up there, and he, he's in the top Fuck, fan yeah. category. Yep. And if, you want, if you're in a different country and you want a t-shirt, we found out that that's possible. It's so. very affordable, as it turns out. Yeah, we thought weirdly, it was going to be very expensive. Affordable. Uh, so if you would like T-shirts in other countries, get at us. We would love yeah. to send you some. I or would if love. You're in to... America, we'll still. I just want to see one. dapper stuff everywhere. I want to yes. see beautiful dapper shirts on beautiful dapper dad fan bodies. That's all I want. Yeah. Just real tight, sexy T-shirts. <laughs> so that's all Slim wants. Um. So yeah, what do, what do we have there? First off, yeah. Um, let's let's. I he wanted can... some dad jokes. That's uh, number one. Okay, a couple of dad jokes. Everybody wants these, and I don't. I don't ever uh, have any. I have a. Well, I mean, uh, I have a Russian sound guy. I also have a Czech one too. A Czech one too. <laughs> yeah. See, I think it's because I hate them when you say them. I don't even have any on deck. This has happened before. You, you know, I was, I was, I was trying to catch a cloud the other day, but I missed. Mm-hmm. I was going to be a writer, but I didn't see the point. <laughs> you have more than I anticipated. Uh trying to think of some i'm trying to think of some really good like drawn out ones uh so okay this is the this is one of my favorite ultimate dad is, jokes. is it the pie one no it is not the pie okay, one because i've said the pie one yeah, on the show okay. before right. Th- this is one of my favorite drawn out dad jokes <laughs> great so there was uh so in eastern religions there's like mystics and buddhas and stuff like that and there was this one uh there's this one specific holy man and he traveled all throughout the eastern part of the world, so like China, Tibet, Thailand, things like that. And he walked everywhere, so his feet were really, really fucked up. And he um, he had a vegan diet, um, and because of all the walking, he was very, very thin. And he got very old eventually, so he was very frail. Uh, and so because scared the shit out of me uh, and so because of and so because of all the wandering and stuff like that he didn't really drink enough water and so his his breath was very bad and his teeth were very very bad so he was a super calloused fragile mystic hexed by holitosis jesus christ at least that one had like the proper built up my problem with a lot of dad jokes is they end so abruptly and then you're like oh okay great that was the joke well, uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta think of some because I used to have a bunch on deck, and then they don't stick with me for yeah. some reason. And I know, I know why. Every time I think of dad jokes, I think of dead baby jokes because those were all the jokes my dad told me. So. Yeah, I have a lot of dead baby jokes that I'm yeah. not proud of. Do those age well? I don't no, think so. no, oh. they do not. They do not age well at all. Believe it or not. Shocking. And then, uh, secondly, he wanted some, uh, some terms for sex. What do we call sex over here? Fuggin'. With two G's, F U G G I N, fuggin'. Um, yeah, Sh- we... Shagging? We... No, he said shagging. I don't. I think shagging comes from like Australia or Austin Powers. Um, did you hear about that restaurant on the moon? Did you just Google a dad joke? Yeah, I did. It's a good one. <laughs> Great food, no atmosphere. <laughs> See, when you say him, I want to fight you. Yeah, that's the weird. point of a dad joke. No, I think you're just supposed to tolerate him. Just like your dad. Yeah, well, debatable. I don't know. What do we really call it over here? Screwing, banging. Yeah, I like to say I and I've never lay down some pipe. Yeah, I guess piping is like a big one now. Um, my favorite ones are ones I've never said to a person in a sexual a mm-hmm. scenario. Like I uh, like knocking boots. I think is good. N- bumping bo- uglies. Is bumping my uglies. Favorite. Yeah, like, that's, that's a good the one. best one. But again, you're never like you want to go bump uglies. Uh, a weird one I know is uh, let's high five with our privates. Yeah, there's a lot of those that are like drawn out. Yeah, yeah, fucking doing it, doing it. Yeah, doing, like doing it's it's a lot. it's probably like the one of the big ones. 
bang, bang yeah, banging, banging a lot. Yeah, uh, I don't making the two headed beast. Yeah, that's odd. Yeah, I like it. Again, you never want no, to say that say to it. a person you're hoping to have sex with. Banging such a weird, like, yeah, it's a lot of things that you don't. There's a lot of things we call it that you wouldn't actually yeah. say to a person. Like you're not like you want to, you want to screw. Yeah, that sound. That's like what a like. And a like, I also don't. I don't like. Says. I don't like that one at all. So I was screwing this girl. Like, yeah, just that's sounds, what an old man. Yeah, says. It just sounds like gross. a forty-five year old man. That's yeah, definitely I was not screwing. screwing this girl. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, like, because when it comes down to it, when you're like saying like you want to have sex with someone, I don't say I mean, almost any of these. Just yeah. Say, like, no. You want to have I, sex? My eyes you say more do than it? anything. Yeah. yeah. I just pull out my throat. You want to fuck? Uh, yeah. I usually say you want to fuck. And then I sign the restraining order. Yeah. I I usually say you want to fuck. That's my thing. I don't say that. Why not? It feels weird. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you also... I don't like saying much, honestly. Yeah. I'm not really a talker in the bedroom. Yeah. Well, I'm always thinking we're not in the bedroom because if you're in the bedroom, you're probably just going to, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's going to happen. You you're just going to do, you're it. not really, you, don't, you don't yeah, bring I don't know the up. last time I like announced it or asked, like, do you want to, you want to do it? I'd probably say you want to go to the bedroom. I think that's the yeah. most clean way to yeah. say it. You want me to put my penis in you? <laughs> that's a big one. You want to. You want my cock in you? You want to get you want my cock in you? You want to get humped? Humped? Yeah, I forget that that one exists. That's so weird. I was thinking with hum- hump to me. If someone was like, "Yeah, I humped you someone," hump. <laughs> I, if someone <laughs> says to me that they humped someone, yeah, so I, I assume that their clothes girl. were on and it was a dry hump. Yeah, you know like what a I mean? dry hump. Humping to me does not, as opposed to a wet hump. <laughs> yeah, very. A wet. wet hump just sounds a slippery gross. hump. Oh, like a real, a real moist greasy hump. hump. <laughs> yeah, a greasy hump. That's what my grandpa had in the war. Uh, so bad he had back. because of the war, yeah. all that time spent in the trenches. Yeah, you get a real greasy hump. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think, and it's probably because we're not from Australia. I think we've heard all the all the good ones. Yeah, I don't have anything particular, and I don't I don't say it, but I do like. He Kangar- said roo, yeah, and can- then kangaroo, kangaroo in a girl, roo yeah, in a girl, wanna, kangaroo. Because that makes sense, like getting in the kangaroo's pouch. I could see it. Yeah, I try to climb in the pouch of a woman. It's real sticky. Smell, yeah, it's very smelly. And when, yeah, it looks way too, like cartoons make you think it's real nice inside of it, but it's actually like a. A bad, disgusting one. What? Like possums that have that stomach thing that just hangs out. You yeah, I mean? are possums marsupials? We can't get into this because I yeah, just we got don't shamed think I for that today in the dad. Chat. I still think bats are a type of bird. No, they, you are so wrong. So it's just a mammal. Yeah, it's so a mammal. So it's the same as like what's another mammal? It's just like like dogs. Dogs are mammals. So dogs We're and bats mammals. are the same. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like every... no, it's just it's a certain type of subspecies. It's a, yeah, just but a I think it should be classified. A little bit deeper. Fine. Bat. Are bats mammals? Well, I yeah, that's true. But there's got to be like, there's definitely a scientific subcategory. What bats, is a bat? Bats are very special mammals. See? So special that it should be something else. I'm going to kick this microphone in your fucking face. Bats are mammals. Know. Yeah, but they a lo- s- Hey, check this out. A long time ago, people used to think bats were birds without feathers. Ah, see, I'm just old timey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. You're also very racist. Oh, yeah. I love when you make jokes like that. Bats are warm-blooded, they nurse their babies with milk, and they have fur. They're mammals. Yeah, but it feels... Am I wrong for thinking it feels like they should be classified a little deeper? You know what I mean? Okay, I don't grandpa, think there's something... Yeah. Back in my day, bats were just birds without feathers. God, when do I sound like that? Just, Is that later in life? Yeah. Because I'd rather be way die. later in life. It After you like get I your own no stoma. Hair. Yeah, and then you fuck. Yeah, that sounds full circle. Sorry, Greg, it's I got some cum in my stoma. Good. All of my voices. We're both are old as shit. I'm like, the missus isn't putting out. I just can't take it anymore. I go to jerk you, you off, but I just out? lean neck in. Just fall neck in. <laughs> yeah. You have a and stroke. our flying car <laughs> crashes. <laughs> yeah, they went out being real Self- gay. I'm thinking self-driving car that crashes. Yeah, but it, but it had never seen a our penis cr- in a neck, <laughs> and the car malfunctions and crashes. They find our burning the flying They find our charred skeletons, but like my hand is on yeah. your head. Like it's this. like Pompey, that guy that was jerking off when everything happened. Yeah. which is definitely what will happen to us if the yeah. world falls apart. Oh, if if, if 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 they if like if like Mad the God just ran down here and was like, they just announced on TV that there's bombs coming. I just start furiously cranking. It. Yeah, I mean, if bombs are coming, we might as well just fuck. But then is it's it, going to be when it's going to happen. Then it's going to be what's the movie <laughs> huge spoiler, like possibly the biggest spoiler I could ever give. What's the movie where is it the mist where everything like the mist or the fog, I'm guessing. And then at the end, he kills his kid 
because the mist yeah and then everything's fine yeah yeah spoiler yeah <laughs> huge if you haven't seen a movie that's been out since 2005 yeah that's a fucking crazy ending to a movie that's always stuck with me but that's what i picture matt's like bombs are coming down we're all gonna die for sure we just we we both get a look in our eye we fuck a little bit and we go up it. and matt's like just kidding and we're like oh no but we and know. then we're in a doc. Yeah, we, only we know, but nothing can ever be the same. Is it cheating at that point if we fuck each other? Like if it's the end of the world and we bang, like we go no. back in our lives, like we didn't like. It's not cheating to have sex with a guy. No, oh, okay, good to know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I play fast and loose with uh, yeah. every rule. I don't can. you always? Um, but yeah, it would definitely be something just between us that we can't take back. We'd yeah. be we'd be in a, a documentary and we'd be like, it was the biggest mistake of my life. I thought the world was ending, so I fucked him. Yeah, I fucked him. I just uh, I gave him that long pipe and I uh, just grabbed his big womanly hips and his fat ass just Man. caught me in the moonlight. <laughs> yeah, the moonlight of the dungeon. Yeah, where there is no windows. Um. I like to think that we, that the, and I feel like we've said this before, the world's ending, we're about to fuck, but we can't figure out who's fucking who, so we <laughs> die with our pants around our ankles and our throbbing erections. Uh, but it was, it's clear, and people live, and they find, they come to us, we're in like a museum, and it talks about how relationships have always had issues, and you gotta work through them, and it's just us pointing at each a other weird with our hologram. <laughs> No, it's just like... We're, we're made of metal, of course. Oh, yeah, because, because we went to the thing. Yeah, all the food. But we're not gonna die if we go do that. It. Well, then more fucking. We can finally figure out who's We can just be who. at the museum talking about how relationships yeah. were back in our day. Yeah. They were bad before we were all metal What if people? we're the only two successful people with the metal thing? Like, we're the only ones that come <laughs> out. I think that sounds it? right. Doesn't that For sound some right? Reason. Yeah. Well, then I'm a god, and also nothing can stop me, then right? Then I am all, yeah, nothing can stop us. We can have whatever yeah. we want. Well, I'm, I'm the god. What am I, then? God's brother? Yeah. Okay. Satan. Yeah. Cool. I like that. <laughs> Wait, so Satan is God's brother? <laughs> what? <laughs> Crazy new religion of metal people. Yeah, haven't you ever all... watched Supernatural? No. Me, I've seen too much. <laughs> I thought you were going to say me neither. No. You're going to try to cover it up. No, I can't I can't cover it up. I've had girlfriends that like that show, so I have suffered through some Supernatural. Yeah, a lot of big titty goth bitches that waste your time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've seen your trajectory. Talking about... <laughs> Uh, third from big old Bear Bear uh, was wh- who's our least favorite comedian or comedy experience? Is yeah, this where we like, burn bridges. Yeah, when, uh, when, Ricky Gervais. Uh, all the local stand-up I have. Yeah, done. I was gonna say the worst uh, like comedy experience is seeing uh, amateurs do comedy. Yeah, amateurs that aren't funny. So fun fact about Slim Barry. Uh, back in the day, we said this. Yeah, I, I've done. I used to do stand-up comedy, and there was a lot of really good people that did it, but there was also a lot of very bad people that did yeah. it. Do you know who I'm thinking of when I think of this scenario? Yep. Yep. I know exactly who you're crazy thinking of. Crazy person. Crazy person. Very a lot of very crazy people I've yeah, met through. A lot of unstable comedy. people. A lot of unstable people. Yeah. But like the hardest thing is to see someone like get on the stage and think they're funny. And they just and keep they're going. Not. Yeah. Because there's there's a difference between like not being familiar with it and working out the kinks and there's something there. And then there's just like there's nothing there and you shouldn't be allowed to do this. You're yeah, just because not. after a, a while. A lot of people think they're funny. Like I wouldn't go do stand up. Like, comedy. no, even like, now I wouldn't, not, no. Like, I, don't I don't consider I myself do a comedian. We're no. just funny in this format. Yeah. I stand on a stage by myself with a microphone and start asking about what's the deal That's just when all the, the opinions I have in my mind come out. Yeah, then things get bad. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I'm I'm funny. We're funny in this context. No. In real life, separately, we're just horrible. And I mean, I've seen a couple of, like, stand-up comedians live, but none of them were bad. And, you know, I Yeah, really all the ones I've paid money for, I've been like very happy i think the last i saw john mulaney last year in chicago and he was incredible he was so fucking funny i've seen i've only seen i think hannibal burris and nick swordson and both were incredible hannibal burris is like top notch oh he's he's incredible i think he's one of the best comedians oh yeah um and nick swordson is also very funny um but yeah otherwise yeah i've seen even without when you did stand up i came to see it and people were interesting but i feel like i've seen other like just open mics open yeah. mics when it's just a clusterfuck like there's just like the literal sense there's an open mic so get up there and do shit mm-hmm. and you're there to see someone do something and then you're like here's some poetry here's some very bad comedy here's a guy that just has a drum set and a guitar and he's the band and like you just see some shit and you're just like what the fuck like it's a nightmare and all the people that are watching are people that are waiting to perform yeah so uh 
Yeah, I think that's the worst is is just very local comedy. I think my, the best thing that c- came out of local comedy, though, was when I got sick with my heart condition. A bunch of local comedians threw a benefit for me to help yeah. pay for my hospital bills. Yeah. And that was a really, really fun night because I basically just got roasted the entire night. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun. Yeah, you're very roastable. You're very. Uh, you had a magician and I we did have a magician and he threw an egg in the crowd and i was trying to say i'm gonna go outside because i hate magicians that much and i also don't like being part of anything and hmm. it feels like you're always gonna be part of like come up here because that's what it was is i'm gonna throw this egg in the crowd and if you catch it you have to come up if you catch it you got to throw it and after three times of throwing it whoever catches it has to come up on stage and be part of my magic thing so i was instantly like i'm gonna go outside and smoke a cigarette because i don't want to be involved in this and then he threw it directly at me and i caught it so i just whipped it and i was like i'm not part of it i caught it first i don't want to be and i want to if i go and see a thing i don't want to be involved in it you know what i mean that's like one of my biggest things you're just there to see it is that someone's gonna point you out and be like come up on stage we're gonna saw you in half and i'm like i'm gonna kill you (laughs) I just don't like magicians. Hmm. Sorry. Sorry to all our huge magician fans. We do have a huge magician fan. Well, I'm sure they're a great person. I just don't like magicians. There you go. I just don't like magic. I feel like it's not done well. I've seen it on two street corners in my life, both in different areas of Wisconsin, Mm -hmm. and they're both very interesting. It's mainly I don't want to be involved in it. And I don't like not knowing what's going on. And a lot of it sucks at the Mm. end of the day. At the end of the day. Also, there's a man who used to come into a bar that I frequented by my house. And he would do card magic. And I would be drunk and I would tolerate it. And he'd come up to the table. And it was interesting. He, You could see him doing it with other people. And you could see he's doing things behind his back. I never knew exactly what. But the one thing that he would do is he would write you would write your name on a card and then he'd put it back in the deck and then he'd either find it and like give it back to you or like present it weirdly. It's in his pocket or some crazy shit. And that was neat. But sometimes he'd have them stuck to the ceiling and that shit still, when I think about it too much, or I'll be in that bar and I look up and there's someone I was with, with their card on the ceiling. And I'm like, how, how did that one happen? Yeah. And that's one because I always tell the story about when I was drunk in Minneapolis for whatever the fuck at First Avenue and that guy outside hustled me and I was smoking a cigarette and then he did all this shit and he was like, uh, look at the center of your hand and I had ash and I was like, holy. And I was so drunk that the whole rest of the night we we're at the dance party and I, I kept looking at my hand and I was like, how did he do this? <laughs> and the next morning at breakfast, Matt the God was like, Googled it and he was like, he grabs your hands out. He says, put your hands out. And he has ash on his thumb. And when he grabs, he grabs your hand like that and puts it in the center of your palm. And then he closes your hand so you don't see it. And then the rest of it is all bullshit to make you forget about that. Yeah. And I was like, okay. But how the fuck is the card that someone yeah, wrote Yeah, that's on? what I want to know. That man's a devil. Yeah, the only devil. And then he devil. asks you for money. Everybody, that's also, I think, part of the problem is they get you in so much. And you're watching this weird magic. And they're like, also, if you want to give me like five bucks. And I'm like, same reason I don't like when people are like, listen to my mixtape. And then they're like, but it costs money as soon as you yeah, touch that's it. Bullshit. And you're like, no, no, bring it up front. Because I used to buy mixtapes just to support the culture. Yeah. But if you put it in my hand and then try to make me pay for something. Not going to work, buddy. I'll fucking kill you. He will. <laughs> I've seen magic. it. I've seen it. Was there, that was the three from Barry? Yeah, that was the three. And then he just jerked us off and told us how great we are at the end. And uh, it was nice. And we would do the same for you, Barry. We love you, buddy. Yeah, you're the best. Everyone, step your game up. Like I said, go to a different country. And, Become a uh, whole new person, except for your love of the Dapper Dads. The only thing that needs yeah. to change there is it needs to increase. Yeah, you need to go to different, you need to travel, go to new places and spread the word of the Dapper Dads. Yeah, that's how we get the cult going. Yeah, the cult. Yeah, we're we're working out the details, but the cult will be there. We also, uh, while we were recording, got a text message, and uh, it's not really a submission, but I have it pulled up here, and I wanted to uh, give a shout out because it was who gave us the wonderful fan fiction from the previous episode. If you're just tuning in to this one and you didn't listen to the last one, and you somehow managed to make it through the neck hole debate, there, uh, go go listen to episode 81. We got a wonderful fanfic. Uh, But they said, your reading of A Summer's Eve was everything I've ever needed. I had tears from laughing so hard. Uh, The original request for fanfics was on the Tubby Custard episode. Go listen to that one. However, no prize was ever specified. I have listened to all the episodes, including Patreon. Hey, atta girl. And since you guys make me laugh all the time, I just wanted to return the favor. Well, you you did a great job. Those are two top-notch episodes. testimonials for our patreon so if you're not getting in on that i don't know what more we can tell you because we've definitely 
uh, we've definitely delivered. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it because I swear to God we said we were going to give something away. Uh, we'll, we'll give you a t-shirt for that fanfic. Yeah. So uh, go yeah. ahead and contact us. Yeah, uh, get in touch with us. Tell us uh, what shirt you want from the website, what size, what not, all the details. Um, yeah, we'll give away a free shirt for that. That yeah, was fucking beautiful. Was, I swear, I, maybe we said it privately, but I think we did. Yeah, uh, yeah but we, we 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 had agreed if we get a good fanfic, we give away something so that we would. Uh, yeah, give out a t-shirt. So, so hit us up. Uh, let us know the sty- si- size and yeah. Let style. us know if you have styes. Yeah, let us know if you have styes. Uh, let I us think know you if you have a stoma. Pain. We yeah. have a special <laughs> shirt for that. Now. Yeah, if you have a stoma, uh, Slim's gonna fuck it. And uh, uh, <laughs> seeing as how I know who you are, I would be happy to hand deliver the shirt to you. So uh, you just. Yeah. Let us know, and I will bring you a shirt. And if you have a sty, put a slice of potato on it while yeah. you sleep with tape over it, I think. It's what my parents did to me. Hmm. Let me know if that's right. Yeah, someone fact check that for wrong. us. Um, we also, I had forgotten that this had happened 10 days ago. This is the episode of Catching Up on Submissions we let slide by. But we uh, had gotten a DM on Twitter from Noark, or however you say it, who uh, we shouted out the review he left. And uh, he said that he used to hate Illinois, and we were the best thing from Illinois. That, 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 that stands something, up. Something, that, something that checks along those out. Lines. Yeah. And you, I think, specifically specifically said, let us know why you hate Illinois. And he uh, he sent a, a little detailed DM here that we'll, we'll read. I think it's good to read. It says, what up, dads? Which also, it's only recently dawned on me when we get, like, because uh, this will explain this guy's from somewhere else, um, that... <laughs> people just call us dad or dads it's only yeah. recently set in for some reason that that's very odd in mm-hmm. like just a general well, I normal think life i think it's just because we us as the dad squad we call each other dad all the time yeah. so it doesn't really phase us yeah you but know? then when it's a stranger from a different state and i'm like that's uh, how that's how we should be addressed we're the dads. it is but it only that's what i mean it that's only recently to... set in in my mm-hmm. mind that that's a crazy thing that's happening yeah. a lot of things recently are only setting in now uh, right when we ruined it by making this episode. This episode was a fucking gem. I don't know what you were talking about. Uh, it's a gem, but it's a gem that's just disgusting. Cursed? That no cursed one, gem. A cursed gem that no one would wear in jewelry or carry around. It's a monkey's paw. Uh, but yeah, it says, what up, dads? No arg here. I heard your shout out about my five-star review on iTunes on episode 77 and decided to give a little context to my disdain for Illinois. Back in the early 2000s, I had the worst girlfriend in the world. I, of course, being head over heels in love with her, looked past her many, many flaws. We lived in Texas, but she was originally from Sha- from Chicago, Schaumburg, if I remember correctly. And she wouldn't shut up about it. It was apparently the best place on earth, which made me wonder why she lived in Texas. We drove up a few times to visit her family, and it always seemed like everyone just wanted to... St- get into a fist fight with me yeah either that or everyone was just a flaming asshole i don't enjoy altercations so i try my best to not make waves but god damn it if every person i encountered encountered was a total prick i then understood why my girlfriend was such a bitch a product of her environment i imagine needless to say i haven't been back since and don't have any plans to go back thanks for the laughs well, come visit us sometime. We're a good yeah. part. We're a good We're, thing. In that's what I said. I was like, you, you know you what? Come drink with us for a day. I'll say that. I want to. I want to change your opinion of Illinois, man. It's not. I don't the, think we can change the opinion of the entire state. No, but, but are, we could at I least let agree. them show there's some good. I, I agree. Everyone's kind of a yeah, prick, I and said, they act like they want to fight you. I said right away. I was like, yeah, Chicago is very much like that. Where yeah. even all the times it's a tough I've city, there, man. It's tough. Now I still feel like, yeah, everybody will stab me or yell at me. Yeah. And I think that's just how it is because we've been told even Rockford, we have those uh, very mean expressions yeah, that we, rest on yeah, our faces. Yeah, we've, we, we just apparently look real angry here in Rockford. So I said I like to think maybe it's just how we all look in Illinois and I it's think not so, true because yeah. there's a lot of good people here. But there's also Tons a lot of, of pe- huge pieces of garbage. That's that everywhere, will, though. That's like, everywhere. There's good people and bad people everywhere. Know. Minnesota's not like that. No, Minnesota's <laughs> perfect. Minnesota's <laughs> yeah. beautiful. Yeah, Minnesota and Wisconsin isn't too bad, nah. depending on where you're at. Minnesota first, then Wisconsin. Yeah, it's like Minnesota and Madison. Oh, it's Madison yeah. people are. Madison people are angels. I think angels. I've ever had a bad time. No. I've had like really bad times, but not because of people. Yeah, well. That, well, yeah, debatable. Yeah, debatable. <laughs> people I bring with. <laughs> yeah. We, from out of state. Yeah, from <laughs> Illinois. Um. So, yes, thank you to everyone. There was some uh, some good submissions. Uh, one really bad submission that changed our lives um <laughs> that was the best submission a, ni- a nice voicemail from across the pond we'll say uh no so, yeah. that's the uk 
but it's it can keep i fucking hate you i hate you and i hate maps and i hate geography and i hate my life and i just hate living and breathing but i life. love you <laughs> no you don't i love you so very much all right we're gonna go do it because the world's ending yeah here comes. leave us a submission make it maybe not as graphic unless that's what you guys no, want more and if graphic. that's what you want then just tell us uh, Tell us what you want. Everyone we'll do should it. get help if that's what you want. Yeah, so. Well, I mean, I've seen our fan base and they like us. So what does that say? Bad things. Yeah. Bad. Lots bad. of bad, really bad things. things.